Hi, I'm Darren from Ala World. Today I'll be showing you how to do an outside back on a chair. So for the curved part here, we could either use the ply grip or cardboard. The, the ply grip here would be a little bit easier to use because you just have to follow the shape of it and then you would have to staple where the holes are here and then you would fold it up, push it up and you have to push the fabric in it. For the part, I usually like to bend the cardboard a little this. bit so it's easier to follow the shape of it. Usually if it's a straight piece, I would staple it all already the outside back of the material here but because the curve it's a curve it's hard to do so I always staple one and then I'll use the cardboard Make sure the fabric pattern runs straight instead of going wavy. Now, now because it curves back up, we gotta flip it up and then cut this part, bottom part. Cut where the cardboard pretty much ends on top of this part. Like maybe just one eighth shorter so you don't see the cut.
lot of wrinkles right here where the curve comes out. So, so what I like to do when I'm stapling cardboard and I reach the end of it, I like to um, cut even where the piping is. I don't like to rip it, it's not as clean. So cut where the seam is on the piping here. You can see, cut it, following it. And then I like to cut a 45 degree. The reason why is so I staple, staple it all complete and then I like to staple back, flipping it over. So when I do back tech, I can go lower or higher and you would you still would see a clean edge so once i'm done it i will staple this fabric reverse it back and staple it like this So the reason why I do um, staple it like that and reverse it back is when I back tech, I can put it here, right, right on top, this part could be empty and it'll still look clean. But if I don't put the carpet all the way, you end up putting this back teching right on the edge. And if you don't hammer it right, it's either low or too high and you'll be squishing the piping or either you'll have a gap between the piping and it's never a clean look. I think the best thing is for me I'm right-handed right so my weak spot is the left side backing this first is easier than backing it after because I could back, back tack this one and I can stretch it outwards and hammer easier over here I'll be tilting my body like this way so it's not as easy so I don't want tension when I'm pulling it straight and I'll re-staple it. If I don't, the line will put to the bottom. It's not a clean look. So now I just release it and I'm going to staple it back. So holding it in place and again. I won't finish it because the hardest part is the ends here. I have to make a clean look first, back take it down and then we'll pull it and straight staple it back.
So now that I'm done, this is how it looks on the back. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.